Blockchain is just very exciting technology. It's got tremendous amount of potential in a lot of different areas. There are probably a lot of things that nobody's even thought of yet that blockchain will be perfect for. That's what's currently challenging is we were able to find the first use case is speculation, having ownership of the digital assets. And if you think about different countries, they will have different use cases. So when you look at Nigeria, people use Bitcoin to buy assets, like buying actually food for Bitcoin. But when you look at US, it's a totally different use case. It's all about investment, not the usage. So it's tricky. And so the more use cases we have, the more adoption we'll get. One of the problems that uh, blockchain faces is tied closely to cryptocurrency. And some cryptocurrencies have had um, less than stellar reputations. And I think uh, companies like Propy are proving that, no, you can actually have cryptocurrency be a basis for a business. You can have an ICO that actually is legitimate. And you can actually build a business that people will find tremendous value in. Uh, but it's going to take a little bit of time, I think, to get people to understand that. Blockchain per se is, is perfectly legal. Blockchain really, from my perspective, is just a different, is like the cloud, except it's a different cloud that can't be hacked and can't be changed. So it's just extraordinarily secure. And so that makes it really appropriate for a lot of things that the regular cloud isn't good for, like cryptocurrency and for some of the things that Propy is working on. Blockchain is secure. It's not going anywhere. There are traces left for every single action that takes place on a blockchain where you lose data if you, in any other system that you're using. Clearly, Title insurance can be optimized a whole lot more than it is, and blockchain can do that. The question will be who will, is going to be pushing this to adapt, right? So one example I would give is like Elon Musk. He doesn't really worry about the government. He just pushes technology the way he sees it, and then he tries other people to catch up, right? Same thing for you. Um, you better like build technology, push that technology forward, and then try to teach government to catch up and use this technology. So that would be the best way. But when you look at this market, I think it's really important to give that ownership. So you want to make sure that everything runs on a smart contract. There is a governance system. You can also have the ownership of your house on the blockchain. It's all transparent. Anyone can see it and verify it. And then when you buy a house, there is like escrow type. So you want to have that included on the smart contracts without having, you know, um, middlemen.